and say, man, y'all ain't know who it is. Pull up like money, get money. We ain't never slumming on God. All right, right here, you got a flat. You give him that change this flat, take it down by the gas station, drop it off, pick it back up when we come back through. Got to run down a bend and run down and get the old truck register. All right, go ahead, take it on up. Always up. That's good. Now I'm just gonna show you. You got the impact socket, and look at the gun he's using. The Milwaukee. See you. This gun here take all stuff off tractor trails and big equipment. Find the right sockets. Impact socket. You ready to take it off? I would set it on too. See how easy that nut broke? That gun, that gun, it don't take nothing to break them up. Put it on the back of the truck. Let them look at it. Because it went down flat. That's why it's set like that. We do know how to do this. I just got so much stuff I'm doing. Starting a new job. And I'm busy. Close the gates. Pick up your impact gun. I'll get it. Grab the gun. Put it in the truck. All his tools he used are Milwaukee. We only best in the best tools, best equipment, everything. As you can see right here, he has a Milwaukee handheld blower. This is so when you go out to people's jobs, you gotta blow out the driveway or you gotta blow out the garage. We don't sweep them, we just blow them out with this right here. Your handheld blower. Much easier. Let me go back and get the impact sockets. Bring them put them in the truck as well. And we are done. In on the back of the truck, tailgate. Yeah, 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 but ain't, on, ain't down there. On the, in the corner over there. Behind that tower white tower. Put it on the tower. Don't, don't put it here. I just made it there because that tower wasn't dead, Justin. And you put that tower up there, you should have seen that. We're done. We're about to bring in the blue truck, hook up this trailer, drop this bin, pick up this bin over here on the end, take it down and drop it. I'm not gonna show you about to hook it up there because you've seen us do it more than one time. This one gotta go to the landfill. The metal one's not ready yet to go down. Maybe in another week or two, it'll be ready to go. But I'm not gonna show these here being hooked up. This one will be taken out. That one up on the, on the trailer gonna be dropped off. All right, there we go again. This is a 
Milwaukee chainsaw we use. This little baby here, we got two of them. We love it so good, so much. We bought one, we went and bought another one. We're cutting up wood. This thing did not bog down. I'm gonna cut the legs off this right here and cut it in half. Throw it in the dumpster right here. There it is. Now you can see he cut the whole headboard up. We're gonna throw it in the dumpster and we done. That's it. I brought my son here this pack house set. I got all of it. He got all kinds of tools in here and stuff. I just wanna show you some of his Milwaukee tools that he has. Like I say, I make sure he got the best stuff he needs to work with when he get jobs to come about. Here's two more of his Milwaukee tools he has. A little hacksaw and a little grind, his grinder. This is his grinder with the wheel on it. And I love this little thing here, like a hacksaw. Man, this thing works beautiful. That's two more pieces he got. I told you, I only get him the best tools he has to have. So if you're going to buy tools, buy the best. You never got to buy them again. Here's his drill. This drill right here, man, is awesome. We'll drill through anything. And if you ain't holding this thing, it'll break your damn wrist. This baby ain't nothing but the truth. Look at that another one, a fuse. Top of the line drill. And look at the look at the ratchet he got. Look at long this ratchet is. This thing, man, got a well take pretty much what you use to working on tractor trailers and big equipment. Craftsman. He got the tools and stuff he needs. He has definitely has the tools. Just want to show y'all. I'll tell you, he has all the Milwaukee. Everything he's Milwaukee makes pretty much. He have them. Saw saw as well. Now this pack I set here, I got this right here for him. He didn't understand why he needed all this stuff here, but he sees now to keep his tools and everything. His bolts and nuts and everything, drills and Blaze and everything he needs. And I'm not saying this to anyone who thinks like I'm bragging or something, but I will not let my son go out here and spend money unless he's buying the best. You ain't got to buy for one time. You got it. I've always told him that. When you're buying stuff, don't waste your money. Buy stuff that you can make money. Can't make no money with it. You don't need it. Here's my little baby right here. I love using this while he's around the house doing stuff all around the house here working, drilling, and taking gifts up. Here's his other drill he has. Now we bought this little pump here. I was looking for a little compressor that uh, used a battery. This little thing here, man, I love it. We be out in the yard pumping up wheelbarrow tires, dolly tires, lawnmower tires. You could even pump up your Tires on your trailer stuff you need to. This is a little Roby. Man, this is a great investment here too. Because you always got to have a little portable uh, air compressor that you need it right in there where you can't get to air. You can just dip a battery onto it. Battery goes on the back right here. Right there. And you can just go to work. Turn it on. Go to work. Hook your line into it right here. Go to work. I love it. There you go. Another good piece of equipment. Keep adding, keep adding. All right, guys, you already know what it is. Um, it's your boy, Justin, of course, from Justin's Boat Trash Removal. Just wanted to give you guys a head up today as far as um, giving you some intel on some safety items you need, your PPE, as well as uh, tools you need every day in dealing with junk removal. So right here, as you see, have my little foam, little things you put in your ear to protect you from hearing from loud noises and um, the frequencies and decibels that are uh, high octave. Yeah. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? High frequency. Lord, I can't even talk right now. Here you have your earplugs that's going to just protect your ears from loud noises that can like disturb or mess your eardrums up. You have different forms of shields and eye protection. You have a whole eye and face shield right here. Just one that goes over your eyes and a little bit over the bridge of your nose, safety glasses, and a shield that you can use when you're doing like cutting and grinding as well. You should always wear a set of these, either this or these still when using this shield, have an extra layer of protection. All right guys, so here's a look at the toolbox on the ramp. Just little things you might wanna keep. It's always good to keep this in our line of work. Some wall spray, 
you never know when you're gonna run across some ground bees or a nest that might be hidden or just picking up anything behind and lord knows i don't like getting tore up by them and i know you guys don't either let's keep a little toolbox a brush grubber you might want to use that if you ever using a winch and you need to pull any like little small tree stumps or you know try to pull out like small little um shrubs or hedges out of the ground them several jaws for that uh always gonna keep you as you guys can see right here a wheel chalk never need to chalk like your trailer if you're getting ready to drop it or leave it or just need to sit somewhere in the driveway you get the small and big ones as you guys can see here also have a little bit of netting um this is what you can lay down like a tube box and knock someone to protect you know, it and lay your tube you down. Use this on light stuff. It's like I want to use this really on nothing. It's so heavy force because it's not exactly material. what this is made for. Make sure you don't have tubes scratching up the inside of your tube box or anything. I don't know the exact material made out, but it's just soft. Uh, little mallet. air uh, pressure you might want to just tap the tire to see the sound it might make you know whatever you want to use some light uh light application with a mallet there it is i like to call them these little loppers here when you're doing like tree work and stuff um those always come in handy especially keep you that with a nice sharp um blade on the end of those things man <coughs> you got your dot three reflective triangles in case of emergencies you need to put that out <clears throat> always want to keep you some ball with you you know like i say with them chainsaws pole saws always keep that on deck <clears throat> got your big <clears throat> not gonna take it all the way out got a big sludge hammer and a little hammer right here of course you know that comes in handy when you like um breaking down pieces of furniture or tools you need to knock something loose that's being held with screws or nails anything i mean it Sludge hammers can come handy in so many applications. You know, it's just like you gotta pick and choose. Uh, where else, where else, where else? The crowbar. The oh so trusty crowbar right here. Good for when you need to pry stuff. Or you know, loosen things up or break. Maybe pry something, you know, away from something. Or you might just need to use it to like something gets bent in or out. Maybe let's say, something is tapped and you need to just straighten something back out it's you know this is what the, the whole mechanism of a crowbar is for or whether you need to maybe use that little ending right here to like break through like a nail or something and you know maybe pry some wood back or something anything like that uh like I said, that one also but um you got one of these little hand saws right here too as you can see, probably need to get me a new one soon. But this has been used for several years in uh, different jobs and applications. I don't know where my other one's at, but I've used this for like sawing through little tree limbs and stuff. So you guys stay tuned for some of the other stuff inside the truck as well. All right, guys, you know what this right here is, right? You know what this right here is. And now this is what it goes to. A 30 foot set of jumper cable. This right here, cable is so long enough this end goes in there, plugs in that piece right there, and it runs it, and it hooks to the battery. Runs 30 feet from the front of my truck to the back. I can hook up to a car standing behind me. It, I keep this in my truck all the time, in this bag right here. Also, guys, as you can see, watch over quick. You always want to just keep you. This is like just a little small socket set. You know what I'm saying? With different size uh, sockets. Got your ratchet right here, a little extension bar things of that nature so it's always good to keep that in case you need to break down anything or tighten something back up and secure it the wd-40 oh yeah always need your lubricant yeah. ah you lube okay um it's also good to have a nice i like this little set right here by cobalt you had your different little size um bits you got your drill bits over here you got your regular bits that go inside of like a, a little socket adapter or whether you want to use it in drill and um of course you guys kind of common sense you use this for different size nuts or the different size shapes that might be, um, you know, hex head or square or whether it might be like a star point or whatever, you know, it might be. So uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. All right, guys, as you can see, there's empty space right here. 
I'm going to end up putting another toolbox right here on this driver's side as I have on the passenger side already. So you'll see what time as time goes on once I get it installed. Um, <clears throat> it's always important to be able to have your tools with you right at hand when you need to be easy accessible and you need to get to something quick, fast, and it needs to be available to you so you can service or whatever you're trying to do to make the job easier. So, uh, as you guys can see right here, <clears throat> don't really mind that too much, a little bit of borrow, so that's why you put that down. But like I was telling you guys in the other truck, I put this uh, little matting down, this material, and it just protects from actually scratching up the bin or the box, the tool box right here, and it doesn't allow anything to, like to seep through it and scratch anything up and damage the box. But uh, as you can see, my also pop swears by Milwaukee. I like them too. It's a, it's a great product, product, a hell of a product. This thing is three times stronger than my little household uh, Roby saws I use. But this is my really my favorite of my to go to. Um, another thing of PPE. You got some knee pads here. It's always good. You need to protect your knees whenever you squat, nail them down. You're gonna be on the ground for a while. You know, definitely keep you something in hand. <laughs> Just a little bit of rope. Hey man, don't mess my video up. Anyway, uh, as you guys can see, you always want to keep you some bungee straps too. Whenever you need to tie down someone, maybe just keep something a little extra secure. You know, you can always keep some bungees available. <clears throat> this is just another little mallet, like I say. You can use it, you hear that? It feel like some type of beads or something on the inside. And this is why I definitely need my other toolbox because the plan is, put all my power tools and stuff on one side and I'm gonna keep like all my regular tools like in the bag and the drills and all that on one side and separate the power tools because this is not enough space but I'm making do for it right now uh as you guys can see you need a level we usually use that if we're going to be like working on something or you just need to check you know see if something's plumb or straight I don't really see it necessary when you might need that well actually just junk removal but it's good to have it anyway so um always a nice tool bag like I say we can carry around your tools. This once again is my rigid bag. I have another drill of mine and stuff I keep in here when I need to use a drill at hand. Hey, Megan. Oh, of course. Megan's opening the stuff. Yeah, especially when you want to check clearance ways and be able to see if you'll be able to get anything out in or out of a uh, property or wherever you're working at. Um, I'll give you guys a brief little look. So, once again, as you guys can see, just got a different couple things right here, like pliers and things, little dikes. We need to cut into stuff. Different type of pliers, needle nose. You got regular pliers. Yep. Uh, hammer. Little channel lock adjustable. Adjustable pliers, you know, evil or. Saws are blades. Always need those at hand. I told you I love Diablo. Good brand. And I also buy these separate. I get bi metal and wood ones, the longer 12 inch ones. When I'm cutting into something long, I need the longer blades for certain applications. I, you guys can see this one's pretty worn. Well, some of the teeth is alright. This part could be used maybe one more time before I toss it. Yeah, a few more. Depending on how you use it and how long you're going to be cutting some. Um, once again, I got my own. So me and Pops have our own tool bags. This is just another socket set right here when you want to add things or like little adapters to your drill or whether it be like a, you know, a small little impact or whatnot. Uh, some screws we was using, you know, when we was doing like our advertising hold it, hold it, hold it. stuff. Hold it, hold it. Stuff that nature. Show you what you want to show me? I want to show you. Hold it right here. Hold the camera. Gotcha. These are drill bits in here all different sizes but this little tool set here i like it so because it has these little adapters here you can put in your drill and put sockets on it different size sockets and that come in handy a lot when you're out taking stuff apart or put in people home to get it out love these little adapters oh yeah life saving all righty let's stop this video right here yep all right guys as you can see I always keep my little dang uh, little blooper. I'll put that back on in a second. Always keep my Milwaukee blower right here. This thing works wonders. It comes in handy when you want to do uh, at the end cleaning and you want to just blow a little bit of trash or debris and clean off the driveways and things of that nature. 
fire extinguisher. You always want to keep a DOT approved fire extinguisher up to date. Always have that in the truck if you ever get pulled over. As you guys know, a necessity, you always need straps. Straps is like the number one thing you're going to definitely need when you're doing junk removal. Whether you need to secure something, tighten it down, whether you need to remove a heavy piece of item or something from a person's uh, residence or business, you don't need your load or your item you're hauling or transporting and moving at all. And this is a perfect securement too right here. As you see, first aid kit, always need that. And uh, have like some chainsaw chaps, more jumper cables, things of that nature. Sorry guys if it's a little junky, I've been working man. And also, man, of course, of course, of course, I can't stress this enough. Keep you a good dolly. Keep you a good dolly. This dolly's rated for 1K, 1,000 pound rating on it. And as you can see, I got these from uh, Tractor Supply. And I got two of them, I like them so much. Keep you a good wheelbarrow. You never know when you might need to be hauling some yard waste or just a little miscellaneous trash item that you just want to throw in there you don't want to be trying to carry out by hand always keep you a nice real bro true temper is a good brand i just recently picked this up so i can't speak much on it but i've heard a good thing about these uh little carts and you can also use that for various items of trash and whatnot so i can't wait to try this out with my own junk my junk removal ventures and whatnot can't wait Last but not least, you always need a good dustpan and broom. Ladders if needed, dustpan and broom. Another wheelbarrow right there. Crafting brand right here. Always gonna keep you a good wheelbarrow. And a push broom. Shovel. And a good push broom, man. When you need to clean them large areas real quick and sweep something to a pot. That's it and that's all, y'all. Oh yeah, guys, how could I forget? You always, always, always want to keep some business cards or flyers on deck. So that way when somebody says, hey, do you have a card I can keep? So that way if I ever get some junk or need some items removed, I know who to call and I'll keep you in mind. Or it might be for a family member or friend. No problem, Sora, ma'am, I got you. Here you go. Always keep that on deck. As you guys know, I'm also an artist too, so I keep both, you know, versatile. Music, business. Music business I gotta put some more business ones back in here but always keep this not only in your vehicles but keep some on you this is very important this will keep you in business this will make you a whole rack of money and if you guys are forgetting any of these things that we showed you throughout the video you might not have them all right now at once and that's okay but the necessities ppe certain power tools certain hand tools, your business cards, keep that as a necessity because if you don't have them, it's slumming. You're not on point. Always, always keep the necessities at least. You don't have to have everything right now at once, but at least keep a sledgehammer, trash cans, a dolly, straps, things like that that you know you're gonna need in this line of business. Stay on point.